Hey guys, welcome to Treacherous Riff. Today's band focus is Triton. This is my reaction review. Believe it or not, I have never heard this record before. Uh, I did get uh, Silent Tiger back in the day, but I never did get the first initial release. So this is Celestial Messenger. This is the reissued, um, remastered um, gold dish, gold disc edition. So you have the original cover in the front, and this is like a new cover you could use for the flip side if you'd like. So very much in the uh, Rush vein, stylistically. This was the first uh, release on uh, Rex Music, Rex Records, 1987. The new, the new one here is on Retroactive. Let's get to the lead here. Ooh, some bass. Woo, Larry smoking it up. Getting ready, track one. This is Don't Turn Away, track two. Looks so like we've got some uh, either bonus tracks or demo tracks. I'm not sure what those are. This remaster sounds pretty good. I mean, I, again, I didn't have the original, but this sounds pretty, really good. lead here. Unique guitar uh, sound there, tone. Different. Track three, Mr. Electric. Let's 
just gonna fast forward just a little here. Sorry, Larry. Skip ahead just a little bit. I don't want to keep you guys forever. Alright, we're gonna skip forward to the lead, see what we got. Great guitar work. It's over. I mean, uh, it's war. We'll go through the booklet here. So on the back, you got a nice uh, picture of the band. You get all the track numbers here. There's no track times. I don't understand why that's it's just not put on there. I just, I'm a big fan of that. This was released in 2021. Let's take a look through the booklet here. Looks like you got some questions and answers here. Nice, easy to read lyrics. Oh, nice collage. Oh, yeah, nice. Photo collage here. Yeah. Triton in the background here. It's like the original logo. Larry Dean on guitar and vocals, Scotty Blackman on drums and vocals, and Steve Robertson on bass and keys. Third man. Designed by Scott Waters. Best by Rob Caldwell. one more and then we'll listen to the bonus tracks. Harmonies there. Definitely a Russian influence on uh, for Triton. Keyboards. 
Oh yeah, also you have the um, baseball card also. Really nicely done. The reflective gold there. gonna delve into the bonus tracks and see what those sound like. Not sure exactly what these are. Demos maybe? Intro. I'm just going to skip ahead a little bit. There's Larry ripping it up. Is this going to be an instrumental? Let's see. Yep, that's what it seems like. Not many bands do instrumentals. Oh, they're singing. They sound pretty good for demos. I mean, it's not studio quality, but it's definitely, you know, good, good sounding for what it is. all the instruments, the singing, the bass, the drums, the guitars, good mix on it. So I wonder if this is a demo that got them signed or these were recorded after possibly. You guys let me know in the comments or Larry you can comment uh, below. Synthesizer. All right, sorry to, I hate to fast forward, but. Seems like another instrumental. Let's see. Mm. Quality's a little bit more rougher on this one. All right, last track we have Waiting Forever. Again, this is different quality again. Now this sounds like maybe recorded after the first record, maybe? All three have a different sound to them. It's cool hearing these demos, though. I, I love demos. All right, guys, why don't you, um, you let me know what, when, when's the first time you heard this record? Um, what are your favorite songs? Um, again, I was introduced at Silent Tiger, so this is my first time hearing these songs. So you let me know uh, your experience when you first time you heard these guys. If you, if you haven't, check out the new Blood of Kings record. Uh, if you check back a few uh, episodes. Uh, I did an interview with Larry Dean and a review of Blood of Kings uh, also. 
So, all right, guys, that's going to do it for this episode. That's it for this one. See you in the next one. Later.